Hello, it's uh, Karen van de Graaf here. Um, I'm a portrait artist and I'm missing working in three dimensions. I, I usually float about cafes and stare at people and go to train stations and draw people a lot. Um, but I found this sculpture and, and thought it might be quite fun because, of course, it's three dimensional. And then I'm, I'm working on a drawing which is moving the three dimensional to the two dimensional. Um, if you've watched my previous video, you know a bit of background about me. Uh, if you haven't, I um, I I was drawing portraits at high speed for the last few summers in Edinburgh as part of the Edinburgh International Fringe Festival. Obviously, because of the pandemic, I've missed that this year, and uh, I'm I'm doing uh, some of these demonstration videos for, well, for excitement and. Uh, to keep me occupied and um, hopefully give you some entertainment. Um, I can also be booked to do workshops at art clubs or um, demonstrations even. So if you're interested in that, please do get in touch. I've got my social media jazz up there. And I'm going to talk you through some more about this drawing in the meantime. And... Uh, as always, I'm using sticks of willow charcoal and an everyday uh, plastic rubber or a razor that you can pick up in a supermarket or so. So I've worked on it uh, some more. It, for those of you who watched the first video, I've been working on it a bit more. So uh, getting some combination now of lines. Again, it's all working the same thing. It's working the lines and shapes and a bit of shading here and there and the shine of this sculpture is still still getting used to how to how to view that and how to render that on the paper and it's not always as it is with a face about trying to get the everything in the right place but also to see if I want to define some of the Marks on the paper to indicate how marks have been made when the sculpture was produced. I think I'll end up with some kind of mixture between the two things. So I often use my finger uh, to smear charcoal that's already on my finger onto the paper. It's quite useful when I just want to take the white off the paper but maybe want to leave some parts light. Okay, and we'll get some swiggly hair on the go. Some dark areas here and I'm going to get my rubber out because this, this side is a lot lighter uh, than the right hand side so maybe it's hard to see that um, I'm going to, going to get some more light parts involved here this is simply called drawn with a rubber Take some light parts out. Some light parts out of here. Get some light in that little light sort of section in this part here. form of the chin and it's a case of varying what you're up to, taking some parts off, putting some other parts on, I think I've rubbed out too much of that so I'll just put some more charcoal on that part and uh, take some other parts off and it's just adjusting, small adjustments now yeah. Got a bit of a snarl in his face.
Just getting some more dark parts here. And the eye is a little more dark. The socket area. Maybe the eyebrows. Soften a lot of this up. Here. Some more dark parts in the hair. Happy with this side. This side needs a little bit of attention. So. checking the angles of some things. It's good to look at your work from a bit of a distance so you can see what's really happening. Ah, the ear's going to fall off the page but I'm not going to get concerned about that. Get the shape of it more true to how it is. That's interesting. I made this a while ago. It looks as if the ears on the sculpture are a little on the high side. I'm just going to do what it says. Do what I can see. Whereabouts. Some more light parts in here underneath the neck. I'm going to shrink that part of the eye a bit. I'm going to shrink that part a tad. Close to being done. The light part here is missing. And uh, yeah, I may spend a short short time more on that. But that is a high speed drawing of a sculpture. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.